Hey, Tai here, so welcome to the Viatech channel. So here we are again talking about CES 2021 because for sure it didn't stop to surprise. Today we saw new VR headsets, small, super cheap, and also visionaries. New smart glasses, XR contact lenses, yeah, VR and AR contact lenses. And we also received new big updates for the Oculus Roadmap. So well, of course, let's get into it. All right, so let's start our way with one of the most interesting headsets out there. And we're talking about the new Panasonic headset. Now, it's kind of weird to talk about these like an headset because they actually starting to look really like glasses. And personally, I'm completely in love with the design they're going for over here. Now, we saw this pair of goggles actually a CS 2020, but now they arrive with a new second version, redefined with, of course, tracking this time that was lacking for the first generation, a design that makes it more comfortable, but most of all, new lenses, new screens, and new connectivity. So in this new version, you're gonna have a part on the back to cut your crane better, so it's gonna always stay in place. You're gonna have integrated audio in there. It's gonna be connected to the PC with a cable or also to a smartphone. For example, has two cameras on the side for the tracking. And talking about displays, here we have an HDR 2.6K micro OLED display for each eye. So 2560 by 2560 OLED, so super high resolution, and at the same time is a micro OLED display. That means that the pixel density is 2245 PPI. That is insane. So farewell to screen door effect. Here we're gonna have pancake lenses, and again, they're made by Lumix. The same that make the camera I'm using right now. So I would consider that a plus for sure. Now this thing is super tiny, has 60F tracking, a micro OLED display, integrated audio. It can be connected with a single cable, but of course there has to be something that uh, is not the best, right? And well, yes, there is. And of course it's the FOV. Having micro OLED display, they still have to solve how to increase it that much. So we're gonna have just 70 degrees of FOV. That uh, it might feel a little claustrophobic, but at the same time, well, you have a very small pair of goggles to use it. So would you be okay with that? But let's keep going because I got a little too excited about these Panasonic goggles. Uh, now, another thing is a clarification on the Nolo VR that we saw the other day. Now, they're also gonna provide a super cheap alternative to what is gonna be a kind of a standalone headset when they're gonna use instead your phone as a computing unit. So with them, you're gonna have the tracking, the display, the lenses, of course, and that will make possible to make headsets less than $200, and that's what they're aiming for. So really interesting stuff, because when we go under $200, well, things start to get very interesting, let's be honest. Now, another headset that popped up today is more like an announcement of a project they're working on, is the Yumai. Uh, now, I'm not really feeling super confident talking about this, because uh, we don't really know if it's gonna happen, and stuff like that, but two people are starting to work on something particular, an headset with a different vision that is not really gaming, but actually social interaction. We saw the same thing with the Xmova and with the Deca Gear, the particular thing of over here is we're gonna have many different cameras for the tracking, of course, of the controllers and of course of the headset, but also for a full body tracking directly in headset without using additional sensors. So two cameras are gonna aim down and other cameras are gonna aim to your mouth to have, of course, a possibility to talk also with your avatars directly. And other two cameras are gonna be inside to see your eye movement, to be sure to represent the right facial expression. Now they're actually looking for people to work with them. So uh, if you have some experience engineering, stuff like that, so you can find it over there. Uh, but yeah, I think it's a little too early to get excited. Uh, this is really just the concept right now, I'm pretty sure. And I never like to endorse too much this stuff. But if you want to work for them, uh, well, please do so. Maybe we can have it in the future, right? And talking about the future, we already talked about this on the past future, past, whatever, about the Mojo Vision lenses. These are contact lenses with micro LED inside. They're gonna be able to project the image directly in your retina. I actually made a very well received video over here explaining pretty much everything. So uh, check it out because it's super interesting. One of the most interesting thing, by the way, was the fact that what they said is to have a AR experience where you just look around, to have a VR experience, you just close your eyes and well, 
you are in VR at that point. Now, the particular thing about this is that, of course, it's very early in the development. So right now we have a monochrome uh, display that is just on the green. So yes, Fallout HOD, uh, it's a thing. But why are we talking about this again? Is because right now they were able to make everything bendable. So yeah, instead of have rigid control lenses right now, well, they're gonna be for sure more comfortable if you wanna wear it. Would you wear them? And now, talking again about micro OLED, Vuzix just announced the second generation of their smart glasses. They're gonna be AR glasses to wear every day. This is a wave technology, being micro OLED projectors to project, of course, directly on the lenses of your glasses. And at this point, they have one color, the monochrome, but they also have the ability to go RGB. So with the complete color reproduction. Now the pixel there are one micron wide, so well, it's impressively tiny, uh, the kind of display, this kind of projectors, and well, uh, while it's not gonna be used for holograms and stuff like that right now, it can be used for alarms, messages, maps, and stuff like that, so yeah not AR glasses, but smart glasses over here. And well, if this is where we start, well, it's gonna be very interesting what we're gonna see in the future. Now, the only thing that I don't really like over here, there is no removable battery. So, uh, well, there's not gonna be a big battery over there. So after a year, we have just throw it away and get another pair of uh, glasses. Uh, it, it sounds a kind of odd, but well, I really like the direction they're taking over here. And hey, it's not really related to CS 2021, but Oculus actually revealed a little better the roadmap Map for this year, where are actually trying to push an update each month for the Oculus Quest 2, and at the same time, a new big update arrived today about the multi account on the Oculus Quest 2. That is something that we surely, surely need uh, because it's crazy that right now you can't really share the headset without other people using your save accounts and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, that is gonna be possible in the future. And I'm gonna leave everything in the link below so you can see, of course, the statement. But here we have it, guys. In the day that Valve announced that 1.7 million new users arrived in VR in 2020, uh, we started to see, well, new headsets and stuff like that. So for sure, 2021 will be very interesting for new headsets, smart glasses, AR glasses, and of course, the two in one, something like that, when we're gonna use our phone as computing unit. Uh, I think that is an interesting concept we saw it already from Qualcomm, and then I, I can really wait to see it becoming a reality. Well, of course, uh, the standalone market is great, but having something that can use a different unit and stuff like that you can put in your pocket, that would be amazing because that means that your glasses, your goggles, your headsets can get much, much smaller. But let me know if you are really interested in something like that or you're more like, oh, let's go stand alone and that's it. But anyway, guys, there's so many new stuff coming to the channel that you don't want to miss, uh, like the most expensive VR headset on the market that is that one over there. And I just received a kit to actually use my brain to, well, control VR. So yes. I really wanna try it. But <laughs> again, if you like the video, like. If you didn't like the video, like. Subscribe to the channel for more about VR tech. And if you really love the channel, there's a join button down there, little down further. Also the Patreon, with prior access to videos. And also there, uh, the t-shirt, sticker and mask, 2020 item number one, 21 item number one. It's gonna help a lot over here. Again, like, dislike, subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.